Good evening and welcome to the Daily News Roundup with Daily Mirror Online. You're with me, Bhakti Abe Surya. Let's take a look at our headlines. Sri Lanka receives over 1.5 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines from COVAX. Blacksmith and a helper arrested for making illegal cap guns. Two key players ruled out of India series. Joseph Stalin files a fundamental rights petition in Supreme Court. Sajit writes to Speaker over sudden removal of officers from Elections Commission. Sri Lanka identifies oil and gas deposits. Now diving into those stories in detail. A charter plane arrived in Sri Lanka this morning with more than 1.5 million doses of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine from the COEX facility. Donated by the United States, the 1,500,100 doses of the vaccine comes to Sri Lanka under the dose-sharing mechanism of COAX facility, promoting equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines across the globe. A blacksmith known as Yakabas and his assistant Chandi, who have been manufacturing illegal weapons for the past 37 years, were arrested yesterday by the Anuradhapura police. They were arrested from the Bandiweva area in Moragoda, Gale Bindunuweva, with three illegally made weapons. Police arrested Yakabas with two weapons and Chandi with one. Those weapons fall under the category of cap guns, the police stated. The suspects were to be produced before the court today. Sri Lanka cricket stated that two key players in Sri Lanka cricket team, namely wicket keeper batsman Kusal Janit Pereira and fast bowler Binura Fernando, will be ruled out of the India series due to injuries. In a statement, it said Kusal Janit Pereira will not be able to take part in the ODI and the T20 series against India owing to an injury. Fernando will be unavailable for the ODI series of the India tour of Sri Lanka. The General Secretary of Ceylon Teachers Union, Joseph Stalin, today filed a fundamental rights petition in Supreme Court seeking a declaration that attempts by police and health authorities to prevent protests using quarantine regulations violate people's fundamental rights. This petitioner had named IGP Chandana Vikramaratna, Director General of Health Services Asela Gunavardana, the OIC of Talangama Police, the OIC of Mirihana Police Station, Health Minister Pavitra Varniarachi and Attorney General as respondents. Leader of Opposition, Sajid Premadasa, in a letter addressed to Speaker Mahindayapa Abhayavadana today, urged to convene the Parliament Council to discuss about the sudden transfer and removal of officers attached to the Elections Commission. Premadasa, in his letter, informed the Speaker that Parliament Council, which is ultimately responsible for the appointment of persons to independent commissions and officers servicing those commissions under the Constitution, should be convened to discuss the transfer and removal of officers attached to the Polls Commission. Energy Minister Dega Mampila stated that Sri Lanka has identified oil and gas deposits currently valued at 240 billion US dollars. The minister said that Sri Lanka could well tide over the issue related to its foreign debt sustainability if it harnessed the full potential of those offshore oil and gas resources. For further details on the stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Bhakti Abe Surya and this is the Daily News Roundup.